Hi, I'm Nev Liv, and welcome to Living with AI. Many are calling the past few weeks the biggest in AI history. This video will cover the GPT updates, because there's a ton to review there. First, you're going to hear the term multimodal a lot. It means many modes. AI scientist Jim Fan had a great tweet explaining it like this. In one of the Transformers movies, nine Decepticons merged to form Devastator, a much larger and stronger bot. This turns out to be a powerful paradigm for multimodal large language models too. GPT 3.5 and ChatGPT are unimodal. They just take inputs from text. GPT 4, which is multimodal, can take input from other modes like images. AI models that can take inputs from images, text, video, and audio can be frighteningly more powerful than the sum of its parts. So how powerful is GPT 4? Here's a comparison of pass rates with GPT 3.5 in blue, GPT 4 with no vision in light green, and GPT-4 with vision in darker green. For a bunch of AP tests, GPT-3.5 was solid, and there wasn't much difference with GPT-4. But look at the uniform bar exam, which is a test for lawyers, and it goes from scoring in the 10th percentile for GPT-3.5 to scoring in the 90th percentile for GPT-4. And in a demo, the president of OpenAI made a quick sketch of a website he wanted, took a picture of it, uploaded it to GPT-4, and GPT-4 provided the code for the website. It can also generate eight times more words in a response than ChatGPT. We're moving from this tool creating essays to creating novellas. One thing many users were hoping for was GPT-4 getting access to updated information, like news and events. But it's still trained on data from up to 2021, like GPT-3.5. However, OpenAI just announced plugins that takes ChatGPT to the next level. One plugin connects it to the internet. So there you go, access to updated information just like that. I wasn't born yet, but think of it like when the iPhone came out. It was a pretty amazing tool on its own. Then a year later, it launched the Apple App Store, which turned the iPhone into a platform and opened up near infinite possibilities. In this demo, ChatGPT uses the internet plugin to get a recipe, a Wolfram Alpha plugin to get the calories of the meal, and an Instacart plugin to order the ingredients. Just like that, ChatGPT went from being a tool to being a platform. It's hard to keep up with all the rapid changes in AI, but thanks for sticking with me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more info about living with AI.